just to give you a snapshot of our group financials, uh, hospital services contributes uh, two-thirds of our revenue. Healthcare services, which comprises mainly our primary care, uh, GP practice, our uh, dental services, uh, contributes the other third. Investment is a, a small percentage. Uh, this is a snapshot of our Q2 results this year. Group revenue went up by almost 13%, and profit after tax, almost 16%. And both our big divisions, hospital services and healthcare services, contributed to this increase. Hospital services more than healthcare services. And uh, if you look at a, uh, our track record, uh, and you see it starts from 1994, because that was when we moved out of pure primary practice into our specialist practice and into the hospital business. Uh, some of you may remember we had, before Raffles Hospital, we had a smaller hospital at Clemency Avenue called Raffles Surgery Center. So that was in 94. So if you take uh, the period 94 to 2012, uh, compounded growth in revenue of 16%. And profit after tax of 24%. This slide shows you our uh, margins and uh, hospital services predictably uh, has got uh, a significant uh, margin uh, in the 20s. Healthcare services, as many of you would know, primary care is pretty much a, sort of a commodity uh, in, in healthcare now, but it's a very important component of our business because it's a feeder into our specialists and hospital services and uh, the margins are in eight to nine percent, which we think is uh, pretty creditable for an old, very traditional business, but which is certainly a very important component of our overall healthcare business. Uh, this is our dividend track record. We uh, uh, we paid for 2012. We paid 4.5 cents. Uh, I think when we first listed in uh, the late 90s, 97, we were paying about one cent, and there's been a steady growth. Uh, and uh, so I think our signal to the market currently is we would pay about 4.5 cents uh, dividend annually. Uh, 